Vula, the victim of garbage dumping. Vula, the Asia's largest freshwater lake sited on the foothills of Harmuk Martins in Bandipora district and other northern parts of Kashmir. It is identified as one of the 26 Ramsar sites in the country. Vular was once the main source of fresh water and livelihood for many families in Bandipora and Sopor areas of North Kashmir. It was famous for producing high quality fish and water chestnuts. In a 2007 study, conservation group Wetlands International said the lake originally covered an area of nearly 218 square kilometers, including 58 square kilometers of marshland. However, over the past century, the lake has shrunk by 45 percent, from about 158 square kilometers in 1911 to 87 square kilometers in 2007. With only 24 square kilometers of open water, the study report said. The lake is 16 km long and 10 km in width and its maximum depth is 46 feet. But its area varies seasonally from 12 to 100 square miles. The lake along with the extensive marshes surrounding it is an important natural habitat for a varied number of flora and fauna species. It's also an important habitat for fishes and contributes about 60% of fish yield of Kashmir Valley. Zurimans, a village on the banks of Vula, also known for its name Bangladesh, is a famous tourist spot of Vula Lake, as its most attractive area of the lake, and is also breeding ground for a large species of migratory birds. Frequented the lake earlier, have not been spotted in the past couple of years, perhaps due to growing pollution in it. The lake is also an important fish habitat and the fishing from the lake is a source of livelihood for thousands of people living on its shores. Kulhama, a small village located on the banks of Vula, is also facing shrinking over the past several decades. Water bodies have gone through a sustained environmental degradation.
غلام چھُ تحصیل بنڈٕ پورکو ساروی کھۄتہٕ غریب ترین گام یتچ آبادی یُس چھُ یہ چھُ سارے ماہی گیرن پٮ۪ٹھ مطلب سون کاربار یُس چھُ سُہ چھُ دریاے جیل ولرس پٮ۪ٹھ اگر جیل ولرس منٛز یُس تہِ پروڈکشن چھُ آسان تمہِ سۭتۍ چھُ أسۍ دۄہ دۄہ کڑان سون عیال لسان بسان أتھۍ پٮ۪ٹھ حظ ساروی کھۄتہٕ بٔڑ پرابلم چھِ ونکیٚس حظ ولرس ولر چھُ گوٚمُت گنٛدٕ تتھ چھُ وجوہات یِم اسہِ نالہٕ خاص کر چھِ یُس نہٕ دریاے جہلم چھُ وسان اتھ منٛز حظ نالے ارین چھُ وسان اتھ منٛز حظ مدومتی نالہٕ یُس چھُ أسۍ چھِ اتھ ظالمان نالہٕ ونان یمن نالن منٛز چھُ بہٕ ترٛاوان حظ گندگی خصوصا دریاے جالی یتھ منٛز ساروی کھۄتہٕ زیادٕ گندگی یہِ کمہِ ساتہٕ تہِ فضول فضول اتھ نیران چھُ پالتھیٖن چھُ باقی چیٖز چھِ یہِ گرِچ گندگی چھِ نیران تہِ چھکان یمن نالن منٛز حظ امہِ سۭتۍ گوٚو جیل ولرُک آب یُس ساروی کھۄتہٕ ایشیاہس منٛز میوٹ تہٕ صاف اوس یِوان ماننہٕ آز چھُ ساروی کھۄتہٕ گند نتیج درٛاو یہِ یُس تہِ اتھ منٛز پروڈکشن ٲس سۄ ٲس مطلب گاڈٕ سۄ ٲس اتھ منٛز نَدٕرۍ سۄ ٲس اتھ منٛز گٲڑۍ یِم ساری گٔے گندگی سۭتۍ مطلب کم ییٚلہِ زٔمیٖنٕے گو آلو تہٕ نَدٕر چھنہٕ وۄنۍ بنان حظ کِہیٖنۍ وۄنۍ چھِ گاڑِ بنان واریاہ کم گاڑٕ ہنٛز پروڈکشن تہِ گے واریاہ کم حظ ییٚمہِ سۭتۍ سون کاربار متٲثر گو وۄنۍ کیٛاہ چھُ سون گام حظ یُس صرف گاڑن پٮ۪ٹھ منحصر اوس گاڈٕ رٹن پٮ۪ٹھ کافی گوٚمُت حظ پتھ وٕنکٮ۪س چھنہٕ اسہِ بنان زٕ کلو ترٛےٚ کلو تہِ دۄہس کہیٖنۍ وجہ چھُ صرف آب آلودٕ گژھان According to a local fisherman, fishing in other rural communities that have been traditionally dependent on Wula Lake are now struggling to earn a living from it. As compared to the past, fish turnout in Wula has gone down considerably. Earlier, a fisherman could catch up to 15 kg of fish in a single day, but nowadays a person hardly catches 5 kgs in a day. مےٚ گٔے لگ بگ شیٹھ سَتَتھ ؤری گاڈٕ رٹان مگر آز چھنہٕ بنان کِہیٖنۍ آز چھُ یہوے کِلو اوٚڑ کِلو بنان مگر یہِ گٔے گندگی سۭتۍ گٔے کم آز چھُنہٕ حکوٗمت کران اَسہِ کٕہٕنۍ مدتھٕے یہِ چھِ اگر ییٚتہِ ترٛاوو یہِ چھِ وسان سٲلِم حظ اگر ییٚتہِ ترٛاوو یہِ چھِ وسان سوپر تانٮ۪تھ بارہمولہ تانٮ۪تھ وسان چھِ یہِ گندگی اَتھ منٛز گوٚو گاڈٕ تہِ گٔے اَتھ کم اَمہِ گندگی سۭتۍ گورمنٹ تہِ انان گاڑِ وادو ژھنان گندگی ترٲیِتھ ولرس منٛز امہِ سۭتۍ تہِ چھِ مال گژھان کم گاڈٕ لوٗکھ تہِ چھِ ترٛاوان سرکار تہِ چھِ ترٛاوان اتھ منٛز یہِ گندگی انان گاڑیو گاڑیو تہٕ چھکان ولرس منٛز Over the last century, the wetland has been subject to series of interventions. As located at the trough of the valley, the wetland becomes a receptacle of waste generated in the upstream towns, leading to severe degradation in water quality. The Municipal Committee of Bandipora dumps all the municipal solid waste collected from this North Kashmir town on the banks of Vula Lake at Zalvan village, which is a small hamlet located within municipal limits. This practice, which not only violates MSW rules 2016, but is also destroying the world-famous Vula Lake each passing day. Even the biomedical waste collected from the local government district hospital is also dumped near the Vula. Water to save water bodies, we have 
एक लैंड आइडेंटिफाई की है जो थर्टी कुनाव पर मुश्तम है और उसको हम डम्पिंग स्पॉट के लिए इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं और जो भी प्लास्टिक हो या जो भी कूड़ा करकट हो उसको सेफ रखने के लिए हमने इस डम्पिंग स्पॉट की बॉलिंग करने का प्लान बनाया है और जिसके लिए हमने करीब 16 लाख रुपए का प्रोजेक्ट भी बनाया है और इसकी टेंडरिंग भी हुई है और थेटर को अप्रूवल भी हुआ है और विद इन नो टाइम वो इस पर काम भी शुरू करेगा और दूसरी बात यह है कि मैं जदी तरीके से इसको डिस्पोज करने के लिए हम एक मशीनरी ला रहे हैं जो प्लास्टिक को अलग करेगा और प्लास्टिक जो भी है जो जमीन को भंजर बनाता है उस प्लास्टिक को अलग बाहर करेगा और इसको दूसरे तरीके से इस्तेमाल करेगा वर्ल्ड हमारी शान है और वर्ल्ड को बचाने के लिए हम जदीद टेक्नोलॉजी का भी इस्तेमाल करेंगे ताकि जो जो कूड़ा करकट है इसको ठिकाना लगाए Every day mini municipal trucks dump garbage in this area thus turn the water bodies into a breeding ground for mosquitoes making it a source of diseases Apart from this residents also complain of air pollution due to the burning of dumped garbage It is not only Zalwan area which is being used as a garbage dumping site but other lower sites along the lake is also being used to dump domestic and commercial waste. Decades ago the water from the Vula was crystal clear and was used for drinking purpose. However, today it's highly contaminated and not suitable even for washing clothes and feeding animals. अगर हम वोलर की बात करें जालवान की बात करें म्यूनसिपलिटी जो हमारे जो सतारह अठारह वार्ड है यहाँ पे बांडीपुरा में पूरा वहाँ से कोड़ा करके जमा करके उन वहाँ पे जमा करते हैं तो यहाँ पे इतना कुछ डर रहता है कि कहीं पे इरकान की बीमारियाँ फूट पड़ने का इम्कान है कहीं पर एयरबॉर्न डिजीज या वाटर बॉर्न डिजीज पड़ने का इम्कान है और वहाँ पर एक बड़ी बात जो है जो जालवान के पास हमारा एक क्रिकेट स्टेडियम था छोटा सा जहाँ पर लड़के सारे जाते थे खेलते थे वहाँ पर वो पूरा इनक्रोच हुआ है उसी मलबे की वजह से सारी गाड़ियाँ जाके सुबह सुबह वहाँ पर डंप होकर यहाँ से जाती है वहाँ पर मलबा पूरा जमा करती है वहाँ पर तो इतनी ज़्यादा वहाँ पे गंदी बू आती है कि वहाँ से चलना क्या जानवरों का चलना भी मुश्किल हो गया है कि अगर हम इसको बचाने में थोड़ी कोशिश नहीं करेंगे तो आगे वक्त आएगा कि ये बीमारी शायद जानवरों को लग सकती है और हमारा मसला बहुत ही खराब होगा According to the government officials, the conservation of Wolo Lake in the state is the top priority of the government and all the necessary measures will be taken in this regard. But how can this be the government's view about Wula Lake if garbage is dumped into the lake by the same authorities? Bandipur is identified with the Alim Adabad Ab, but over time we are abating this identification with illegal executions, which are a menace to the society. Bandipur is going to face the biggest threat in future. in terms of the diseases caused by pollution the threat is pertaining to throwing out garbage and littering in the public places the municipal committee bandipur has been dumping the garbage in zalwan area bandipur for the last 20 years it's basically a public place located on the bank of ula lake If Asia's freshwater lake is contaminated, the dire results will take place. Uh, diseases like uh, anemia, cholera, uh, ringworm, habitats at straw will take place. It can mar the entire suburban area of the Vula Lake. The people uh, living nearby Vula Lake is also occupying in illegal encroachments, uh, which too is the matter of concern. I have. recently seen an order a discretion you know passed by the high court jammu and kashmir high court pertaining to the to the ban of construction within 200 meters of the boundaries of vula lake uh, i welcome i personally you know welcome this initiative i personally welcome this uh, discretion taken by the jammu and kashmir high court and in spite of that you know the people of you know bandipur not only the people of bandipur the people residing around the vula lake should realize if if vula lake is contaminated what will befall on the people residing around the lake
The Bullock Conservation and Management Authority was also established in 2012, but it didn't help in halting the practices. It is now hoped that very soon solutions can be found for Buller Lake and Jammu and Kashmir government will make this much larger priority for the whole valley.